Thank you for joining us today for the Meritorious Military Series, Veterans in Tech. It is my pleasure to introduce our speaker, Catherine Gordon, Military Programs at Oracle. Catherine is a graduate from Empire State College with a Master's of Arts in Labor and Policy Studies. She is a civilian that comes from a large military family that has served in the Navy, Air Force, Army, and the Coast Guard. Throughout her career, she has focused on many areas, including human resources and project management. She previously worked for Apple Computers for 14 years before joining Oracle as a sourcing recruiter who now supports military programs. Oracle just received the Five Star Vet Indexes Award for 2023 and is veteran ready. Please join me in welcoming Catherine Gordon. Thank you for joining us. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much. And thank you to Catherine and Meritorious for having myself and Oracle here with you today. Hope everyone had a great time with the first half of the fair. And I'm excited for the second half. Had a great few breakout room questions. So I'm excited to share a little bit more about myself and who we are. But first, I want to thank you all for your service. I want you to know, again, we here at Oracle are veteran ready, and that includes spouses. Again, I'm so excited that I just have to repeat it, that we have just been honored the Vets Index five-star rating and top companies to work for for LinkedIn's list. Super excited about that. So who is Oracle? I want to explain a little bit about Oracle. We are the number one provider of business software with a broad portfolio of solutions for companies of all sizes. We are the only technology provider with a complete suite of integrated cloud applications and a cloud infrastructure platform. We empower nearly half a million businesses. That's 430,000 customers across 175 countries. Wow, right? Businesses use our solutions to inspire the workforce, nail the financials, optimize the supply chain, and create awesome customer experiences. Now, a little bit about me, a little bit more. I work on military programs. I'm a military recruiter, as well as a board member of Maven. We have very cool swag here, too, as well. So Maven is a military affiliated veterans employees network. This is a volunteer led employee resource group. And what's really cool is we have a podcast. You can find us on iOS and Android devices or stream us from the web. This is really something you want to check out and you can leave us a review if you want. This is your way to see inside a little bit of really what the culture is of Oracle. So one of the main responsibilities I have is connecting with our external partners. I love having conversations with different boot camps, universities, nonprofits, and resources that support the veteran community and how I can give back. So now let me put on that recruiter hat for a minute. What do I get asked most is, how do I stand out? One thing that stands out to me always is networking, networking, networking. I say it three times because it is truly that important. Now, what do I mean by networking? You can network with anyone. You can be networking at Starbucks when you're going to get your coffee in the morning or when you're going to get that bagel. I was recently at an event and one of my colleagues said, it's not about who you know, it's about who knows you. Now let that thing really sit in for a second because it's so true on so many levels. When someone knows you, the networking you created has gone a step further. Think of it as six degrees of Kevin Bacon. I know this person through X, Y, and Z. So one of the, also the greatest resources to networking is LinkedIn. How did you find out about this event today? LinkedIn, right? There are recruiters, sourcers, hiring managers you can reach out to. Now, let me explain a little bit about recruiters and sourcers. Both are your opportunities for your resume to be seen. Sourcers may be with you through the entire process, whereas a recruiter maybe is. So either way, they're both very important in that process. My point here is they can both get you in front of a hiring manager. Even if it's just an informal call, you have to treat it as an opportunity for a networking, for the ability to have an interview. Every recruiter is different. You need to know what is best for you. You are the one selling yourself. So this is my disclaimer now. My thoughts may not be your thoughts or that of 10 different recruiters. Always take what is said with a grain of salt and do what will make you feel confident in selling yourself. That being said, when reaching out on LinkedIn, do the work before you reach out to a recruiter. I know that looking for a job is a job in itself. We've all been there. But you have to do the work to show you're interested. Research the company too. It helps. Find roles, apply, then reach out, then send your resume. It helps to have a short, concise message to get started. Another important aspect of networking is patience. But wait, patience? What do you mean? Okay, so here it is. I know that one day for a candidate feels like a week. But in a recruiter's world, a week can feel like a day. 
that's really how busy we are. If anyone saw our, our messages or our inboxes, you would understand. So what I mean is have patience with the person you're messaging. Following up is totally okay, but that patience really is the key. Now, no, as we as a company and you as a candidate are working just as hard to make that connection and find the right fit. This is why I can't stress networking enough. Go to all the virtual fairs you can. I mean, you can sit in your PJs and maybe land a job. It doesn't get better than that. And let's be honest, how many of us are only professionally dressed from the waist up today? Connect with recruiters on LinkedIn. Most will post about open roles they have. This is your opportunity to send a resume directly to a person. I always get asked, but how do I get noticed? How am I seen? That's your, that's your opportunity. Research LinkedIn. You should be looking at LinkedIn like you do your Instagram. But don't treat it as Instagram. Use it as a professional resource. As a side note, there is a lot of talk about ATS systems and computers reading resumes. I want you to know I do everything by hand. Everyone at Oracle does. We do. When you ask me to look at a resume, I look at it by hand. When you apply for a role, those recruiters, those hiring managers are looking at your resume by hand. Again, patience pops up because over a weekend, how many people could apply to the same role that you are? So you have to think about that that way. Now, this leads to me, leads me to two, what else can you do to stand out? Resumes, huge topic. Formatting, what information should you use? Do I add a GPA? Should I use graphics? This is where you have to say what is best for you. I can tell you what I think. I like the professional resume that has a short summary on top, three to four sentences, experience, education, certifications, and skills listed. In this case, the summary acts as a cover letter. I know that's a huge topic as well. Cover letter, yes. Cover letter, no. Again, personal preference. I do not include GPAs. What is the most important thing is that you receive that diploma. Not if you got the 4.0 or a 2.7. I don't look at that. What I look at is if you have the diploma. You want to maximize the space with useful information and a two-page resume is okay. Now, do not submit your federal resume of 27 pages for an entry-level role. Kind of gear what you're looking for and what you should use. And if you don't know, ask. There are people who will support you and give free workshops and answer those questions for you. I learn something new every day. It is the only way to keep growing. So quick things about resumes. Make sure your resume is formatted correctly, easy to read, matches the job, job description you're applying to. This is the easy part. Make sure your email is professional. It takes two minutes to create a free one. Do not use the one from your MySpace days of growing up of babycakes2 at AOL.com. Just an example. So it does happen. Make sure you have that professional look. Add if you have a clearance or a veteran or a spouse. You can add that to the top section by your name if you're comfortable. It really helps the hiring team, especially if you're applying for a veteran-specific role. Save your resume with your name. If you save it as Final Draft 1, it's going to appear to us as Final Draft 1 when we open it. So make sure you're always updating the save file when you save it. Run it through spell check. It's there. Use it. I know I need it. I'm sure everybody does. I could talk about resumes with you for hours. I love chatting about this topic. But what is a resume? A resume is your Cliff Notes version to get you talking to a person. Think of it as your highlight reel. If this was a movie, your resume would be the, the trailer and the movie is your interview. What would you want your highlight reel to show about you? How would you want that trailer on the big screen? Now, after resumes and networking, you have interviews and soft skills. I'm going to jump into soft skills first. When jumping on a call and a recruiter says, hi, how are you today? Always respond back with your answer. Then thanks so much for asking, how are you? This question, it is, so many times I ask this question and someone says good, then just silence, right? A little awkward there for a minute. As a recruiter, I could be doing 10 screens a day. That's a lot. That conversation at, at the start really helps bring out your personality and a calming effect. Really just gets the conversation on a good start. And it's always good, just normal conversation. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Thanks so much. How are you? Really great. Another thing, you can hear a smile through the phone. I know right now I'm on video and you're staring at me, but close your eyes for a minute. Can you hear a smile as I talk or at least the positivity in my voice? You can hear that I want to be here. You can hear that I want to help someone today, no matter how little it may be. Okay, open your eyes. This is what you want. This is that engaging piece. 
Next, interview skills. This was asked uh, at my last fair by a colleague. When was the last time you sat in on an actual interview? It may be years or it could have been yesterday. Point is we can always practice interview skills. Many of you have heard of the STAR method, situation, task, action, results. This is a great way to form your answers when asked a question. I have been told it's sort of like the five W's, who, what, where, when, and why. So I will stress to make sure you include the result to bring the story together, because you always want to end on that good conclusion. Right now, a lot of companies are doing virtual interviews. I personally love it, but some tips. Be on time. Make sure your links work. If for some reason something happens, it's okay. We understand. We have been living in the virtual world for years now. But do not be a no-show without communication. It's the worst thing you can do. With virtual interviews, you are looking at a computer. No one can see your screen. You can jot down your notes or have keywords to remind yourself during the interview. Preparation is the key. You don't know how many times I actually sat in an interview and was like, oh, I had five stories as soon as I hung up. Having that preparation helps. There are many professionals out there like myself who want you to find a role that is a fit for you, just for you to land that role. There is nothing in this for me. There are no bonuses, nothing other than the fact that you get the role you are best suited for. So just to recap, networking. Remember, every person could be a new opportunity for you. Resumes, always double check. Interview and soft skills. Practice makes perfect and patience in the process. I know this has been a lot of information in a short amount of time. Please feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to talk more. I want to thank each and every one of you for coming today. If you have not visited the Oracle table yet, please come and say hi. We have uh, myself, Bridget Miller, and Jamie here. Very excited to speak to you. Remember what I always say is anything can happen. Thanks so much, and I really hope you, you enjoyed it.